48. A hoodlum throws a stone vertically downwards with an initial speed of 12 meters per second from the roof of a building 30 meters above the ground. So let's just say we have a building over here. Okay, this is the building. And this is the ground. So the height of the building is 30 meters. And we will say that the ground is 0 meters. And we will choose that upwards is the positive direction. So the initial speed of the stone, since it's downwards, the initial speed of the stone, the initial velocity in this case is minus 12 meters per second. And we also have the acceleration of gravity is minus 9.8 meters per square second since we chose that upwards is positive since the acceleration is downwards so it's negative so this is a constant acceleration exercise so there are three different equations that we can use the equations are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2 we can also use v equals to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. But which, which of those three equations we should use in letter A and which should we use in letter B? So if you don't know that, I, I always do the same technique you just mark the things that you don't know. For example, in the first equation, the final position, we know it's zero, right? The, the, the stones goes like this. The initial position is 30 meters, we know. The initial speed, the initial velocity, we know. The time it took to reach the ground, we don't know. The, the acceleration, we know. And the time it took to reach the ground, we don't know. So if you want to find how long does it take to the stone to reach the ground, it's clear that is this equation over here. So in the second equation, the final velocity, we don't know. The initial velocity, we know. And t, we also uh, don't know. The acceleration, we know. The final velocity, we don't know. The initial, we know. This, we know. And this, we know as well. So those are the three equations, and you can see that if you want to find the time it took to reach the ground, you should use this equation over here. And if you want to find the speed or the velocity at impact, you could use this equation over here. So the thing here is that for letter A, we could use this first equation here. However, it is a second degree equation. It's harder to solve than a first degree equation. So we could use this the first equation and solve a second degree equation or we can go for the third one find v and then with v we, we can find t so we can do the, the reverse we can solve letter b first and then go to letter a i think it's easier in this way so let's do letter b first and then we go to letter a but remember that you could use the first equation and solve letter a first but you would have to solve a second degree equation it's up to you. So v square equals to v0 square plus 2 times a times delta x. So v equals to this plus minus the square root of v0 square plus 2 times a times delta x. The acceleration is minus 9.8. Delta x is equal to m minus 30 meters. So it just starts from 30 and goes to zero. This, in the top of the building, it's 30 meters. So it's uh, zero minus the final position is zero and the initial position is 30. So delta x is minus 30 meters. So we have that the final velocity is plus minus the square root of minus 12 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8 times minus 30. And this, if you do the calculation, you would find 27.1 meters per second. So this is the answer of letter 
B. However, you you still have to choose the sign of the velocity here. So since the, the stone is falling and downwards is the negative direction, so we, sh we have to choose the negative sign over here. So the final velocity of the stone is minus 27.1 meters per second. So this is the answer of letter B. So now we know V over here. So the only thing that we don't know in the second equation is T. So we can use the second equation in letter A. So V equals to V0 plus AT. So T is equal to V minus V0 over A. And then it's easy. So the final velocity is minus 27.1. The initial one is minus 12. And this over minus 9.8. And this is equal to 1.54 seconds. So this is the answer of letter A. But remember, you could have used this equation to solve letter A first. But I think for the, the calculations, it's easier this way. So this is the answer of this exercise.